Hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another gaming video. Now, today I'm going to be showing you how to play Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate using UEVR. Now, if you didn't know, UEVR is a mod that has been made by a developer called Preydog, and this mod allows pretty much most Unreal Engine 4 or higher games to be played in a VR headset. What we do first of all is we'll show you where you can download UEVR from. Now the links, every link that I talk about here is going to be in the description for this video. So first of all, let's show you where to download UEVR from. So basically it's on GitHub here. I'll provide you with a link. And all you do is you go to the UEVR zip and just download it and extract it. Now I have it currently sitting in my downloads folder because there is a brand new version which I've downloaded here and then I've extracted. Okay, so just download and extract that, put it in whatever location that you wish to have it in. Then secondly, what you'll also need to do is you'll need to go into Steam, assuming that you have the game in Steam, but basically you need to play Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate using DirectX 11, or otherwise this may not work. So, as you just saw me do there, you right click on the game in your library, go to properties, and then in the launch options, just put dash DX11, so the game will automatically launch in DirectX 11 mode. Now that will work with any game as long as it is supporting DirectX 11. Also we're going to need to download this plugin here. Again the link is going to be in the description and you just look for the latest version which is showing here which is what I'll provide in the description and you just click on the Final Fantasy 7 Remake, download that and just leave it there in your downloads just for now. Go to where you've extracted UEVR. Now, I have it already open, but you're just going to UEVR. Now, this is going to be the nightly version. So, go into the UEVR nightly version and double click on the application. And it'll, it might well tell you this for the first time. And you just run anyway. And it will bring up this. Now you restart as administrator. Click yes. And from there we've got UEVR open. Okay from here let's launch the game. Right so the game is launched now. So what we do here is we'll go into this drop down arrow here. And as you can see we've got Final Fantasy 7 Remake. We'll click on that just there. Now the plugin that we've just downloaded go to import config and from there you look for where you've just downloaded the file click on the open button now I'm not going to do that because I have it somewhere else and there's different settings and I don't want to reset my settings and they are automatically saved into UEVR so whatever settings you have saved when you close UEVR down they will stay there, they will do for that particular game. Now, make sure that you have OpenXR ticks and Nullify VR plugins. Now, all of these settings here will be adjusted by the profile. So, lastly, so lastly, we're just going to go into game, and then what you need to do is go to options and go into graphic settings and make sure the display mode is in Windows. This will not work unless you have it set as Windows. These are my settings here, if you want to copy those, feel free, but you must have the display mode as Windows. So let's go out of that, and then...
Get down here, Merc. Okay, after that dramatic intro, what we're going to do now is pull up the UEVR menu and hit the inject button. And you should see um, a couple of things start loading up on screen. Don't worry about that at all. And then, as you can see, we are in VR. Now, obviously, of course, I've missed out one big point here to advise you to do. And that was to start up your VR headset. Now, I'm using the Quest 3, so I have to get the Oculus app and link enabled. So make sure you've done that first of all. If you haven't done that already, then I don't even know what you're doing with the VR headset. Anyway, so yeah, make sure that's enabled. Link's enabled. The VR headset is on before you inject. And then, as you can see there, you're playable in VR. Now... We can try both controllers. So the right stick will move the camera around like this. The left stick will move the character around. And then it's just the B button will attack. For now, I'm sure it'll do different things later oh, on. Who goes so, there? You're up. So let's just kick these guys' asses first of all, and then we'll just leave it there. This is only a setup guide after all. You're coming with us, nice and easy. Don't think so. Yeah. Not bad. So there you go, straightforward and dead easy attack, and there we go. So that's how you play Final Fantasy VII in VR. Who in the hell? In a VR headset using UEVR. Now, when we get a pause, I'll show you what some of the uh, keybinds have done. So let's just pause the game. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. Oh, I did move and you shot. No, enough of this. Well, let me just show you what a couple of the keybinds do in UEVR. Oh, you have to use the left option button on the controller to get rid of that. Right, so if I just pull up the UEVR menu, now with the profile I've used, I've added my own keybinds, which is why I didn't want to import another one. And as you can see, they'll just do things like recenter the view, horizon, set standing origin but it's these down here that make the difference so if i just get rid of those so if you want to get rid of the ui on screen there you go you can just see that disappear where it says the command menu in the bottom left corner that'll disappear if you press that now if i press disable vr it'll just go into flat screen mode in the headset it'll disable but we're in flat screen if i press that back again to get back into vr now what you can also do is the plus key which will black the screen on here but in the headset you'll have a flat look like, a flat screen inside the headset basically now it can come in handy when you get cutscenes if you're not to cut scene in proper vr so if you want to see it on the headset, then you press the plus key and then disable your object hook, which I believe we have got bound to the number pad zero. So you have to press a combination of both of those. And if you want it to look good on the monitor, you disable VR and then press, well, then you don't press nothing because it's as it is. So there you go, let's just pop that back into VR. That's how you get the game playing in VR using Drop UE VR. Weapon. You got this. Yeah, what he said. 
So as you can see, we had all these different camera angles just there. I'll show you a little example. You're coming with us. I can't get surrounded. That's that. That it? In just a second. Okay, not interested in opening the chest or anything. Right, so there's going to be a cutscene here, I'd expect. Okay, there we so go. So there's a cutscene. It looks a bit wobbly because it's attached to the camera. This, uh, uh, what was his name again? If I press Cloud, Cloud Strike, VR, and he isn't a soldier anymore. You then Still, get he's a the perfect cutscene as like it is in flat. I'm glad to have it. Otherwise, <laughs> I can do it in the headset, but I'm not going to show you in the this headset. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're so, done. So, there you go, like uh, I say. That's how you play the game in VR using UE VR in a VR headset. Like so I've got a Quest 3 headset, I'm using an RX 6600XT GPU, a Ryzen 9 3900 x CPU, I've got 32GB of RAM, and like so with this you can play on the controllers, or you can play with the gamepad if you wish. Anyway, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more VR related content. And if you want to make any comments about this or other videos on the channel, just pop them in the usual place and I'll respond to every single comment possible. So, that's enough from me. See you for the next video. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.